What's up guys, Orain here. So I have been a Mac user for a really long time. I think I switched over from Windows to Mac about five years ago and just never looked back since until very recently when I purchased a more powerful Windows based PC, you know, for work. Either way, off the top, I knew I was definitely gonna miss the airdrop function on the Mac. I was like, one of the things that I'm going to miss the most is airdrop. And guess what? One of the things I do miss the most is AirDrop. So I've been ever in search for that AirDrop option for an Android user that's on a Windows-based PC or an iPhone user that's using a Windows-based PC. I'm looking for that AirDrop option that just hasn't been there. There's some workarounds that you can use that connecting your Android phone directly to Windows. See that hard drive, you can pull any information off of it that you want, or you can sync things up to your Google Drive and sync them down to the Windows PC, but there's a bunch of other steps that are involved in that that just isn't as simple as selecting the file device and dropping it. So so I've been ever in search for that Windows based airdrop option and I think I may actually have found something that's pretty cool. I'm going to talk about it in this video so without further ado let's get started. So what the heck am I talking about? Have you ever heard of Snapdrop? No? That's fine. Up until a couple of weeks ago I didn't know about it either. So what Snapdrop basically is, it's a progressive based web application that gives you the ability to very much mimic the functions of AirDrop using your Wi-Fi signal and a web browser. And using just those two components, it's supposed to work pretty much the same way that AirDrop does. Does it? And how well does it work? So first let's get into a little bit how it works. So it connects using a TLS so the devices can exchange information about their media capabilities. And then it can determine if the two devices can work together as needed to transfer the data from one device to another using a web real-time communication over a DTLS. And once that connection is established, the two devices exchange the information. One device sends the media to the other device. The other device then gets the ability to download that media directly into itself. It's almost like a peer-to-peer -peer transfer. There is a server involved, but the server is really only used to establish the connection between the two devices. So your information is actually not being stored on a server for the device to download it. The server is there so the two devices have a place to meet. Once the, the connection is made between the two devices, the server kind of steps out of the way and one device transfers the information over to the other one using the DTLS connection. And since you're using a TLS connection over an HTTPS, the data is actually encrypted. So that way you don't really have to worry too much about loss of information or loss of data or data leakage. The data is encrypted from end to end. And once the connection is made and the data is downloaded, your data basically is not stored anywhere else but on the two devices that were transferring the data to begin with. But the main question, of course, is actually how good is it? How does it work? And for the most part, it works pretty well. I'm not looking for anything that was too crazy. I was just trying to transfer some pictures or some audio files and some small video files. And this thing handled the transfer of those files fairly simply. Now, because you're dealing with such a wide range of different devices, one of the reasons AirDrops works as well as it does is because it's within that Apple wall garden. It's within that Apple ecosystem. They only have to worry about Apple devices. This thing is, again, a progressive web application. It has to worry about Android. It has to worry about Apple. It has to worry about Windows. It has to worry about Mac. So you're throwing a lot of different devices on it. It doesn't work as fluently as AirDrop does. But for the most part, I threw some pictures at it and I was able to transfer those pictures from my iPhone to my Android, from my Android to my iPhone, or from both those devices to a Windows-based PC or a Mac or an iPad pretty seamlessly in the end depended on my connection, the size of the file, and believe it or not, the browser that I was using. Off the bat, this thing is compatible with a myriad of different browsers. I tried Firefox, I tried Google Chrome, I tried Safari, and for the four Microsoft Edge users that are watching this video, I also did try Microsoft Edge. I don't know why I would use that other than to download Google Chrome. All the browsers I tried, I think I had the most luck with Google Chrome, of course. I think that's probably one of the most compatible browsers that are currently around anyway. But when I found out I was transferring a movie file from Safari on my iPhone to my Windows-based PC. It just took so long to establish a connection and the file wasn't that large. It was like a gig and it was taking a couple of minutes for it to transfer over. I switched over to Google Chrome and it transferred over in a couple of seconds. So there's a big difference between the two browsers. Browser compatibility plays a big role in how well this web application actually does work. So basically the way this thing works is that you need both devices connected to the Wi-Fi and then go to the specific Snapdrop website 
the devices see each other, they connect to each other and transfer the data over. I had this weird issue where I launched a web application on my iPhone, I was connected to my Wi-Fi and I wasn't able to see the other devices that were on the network for some weird reason. It turns out I had my VPN on my iPhone turned on, turning my VPN off, everything just became available. And as long as you have a stable, strong connection and the files aren't humongously large, it should work without issue. The only problem is the security issue. You're not sure exactly how secure this open source web application is. I'm not transferring over any confidential information, any kind of redacted documents or anything that I wouldn't mind if it got exposed or lost or just leaked to the world. It wouldn't bother me. If you're going to use this application, I wouldn't suggest transferring any confidential data. Just transfer anything that's quick and easy that you don't mind transferring over an open sourced web application. For the most part, the security seems to be there. Their documentation shows that they have different security measures in place. They're not taking your information. But there are a ton of companies that say they're not taking your information and they are taking your information. So use it with a grain of salt. Security wise, that's the only real caveat that I found with it. But transfer wise, functionality wise this thing works kind of as advertised and I'm actually pretty satisfied with the overall functionality of Snapdrop. It's kind of jumped in and replaced my AirDrop hole that was left when I upgraded and switched over back to Windows 10. So anyway guys, I'm going to leave the link for Snapdrop in the description of this video. I urge you guys to check it out if you're looking for an alternative to AirDrop. Let me know how it works in the comment section down below. Have you ever tried it yourself? Comment in the comment section down below as well. And also, I'll pose this question to you. If you have a better option for an Android user on a Windows-based PC that functions very similar to AirDrop, go ahead and comment down below, share your thoughts, and I will definitely check those things out. And while you're down there, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button with that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you don't miss when release some cool helpful content like this one until next time guys you can check out some of our latest review videos over here and this is something that youtube believes you enjoy watching guys thank you so much for checking out the video and as always make sure to stay safe and until next time peace out